Hello, and it is that time of year again where we go for gold camo, diamond, and then eventually dark matter. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the gold camo easy. It actually is pretty easy. The challenges are very similar to the past. So let's just get into it. First challenges you have with your assault rifles are, as in the past, to get 100 headshots. So you get that. And then you unlock the technical and these are very similar to what we had before you do the technical challenges and then you get mastery which is gold interesting thing about gold once you have it on your weapon and you get a fury kill with it you know four rapid kills with that weapon it changes it turns into a, like a hyper gold and it has uh like these purple glowing dots racing all over it looks very awesome for the first challenge the 100 headshots the setup that i ended up going with was the reflex sight uh helped you know just kind of clear it up depends on what weapon you're using but i tend to go with the reflex if there's an elo available i may go with that instead attachments can be whatever you like no secondary uh equipment can be whatever you like doesn't have any effect on it although i do like the comsec because it makes the score streaks cheaper and you can get more uavs and hey intel helps for the perk setup uh engineer is just really to prevent you from going through barbed wire or trip mines and seeing stuff that can really kind of kind of slow you down and, and ruin your day uh lightweight is very very good and you can go with the secondary perk if you have it unlocked you can go cold-blooded um i do like cold-blooded because it keeps you from being hassled as long as you keep moving okay keep walking keep running moving around score streaks will have a hard time targeting you okay so it sort of works like ghosts as long as you keep moving you will not be targeted as easily for perk three i end up going with ghost just so we can flank around and you know sneak in and get some of those cheeky headshots you can use whatever third perk uh you want to go with um i happen to prefer dead silence although team blink is pretty cool if you decide to go with core but as in previous years the playlist that i chose to go with was right here hardcore domination just like geez we've been doing this since bo2 so hardcore domination mainly because people are focused on an objective and when they're capping they tend to go prone or they're stationary you obviously know where they're at you know where people are spawning and with that added intel it aids in the headshots hardcore free-for-all i did try it um and it's just a little too slow for me you know if the goal is to get diamond and dark matter as soon as you can well then you're probably going to want to play a faster mode which would be hardcore domination hardcore kill confirmed all right reason why we're playing these hardcore modes is because it is one bullet to the head with pretty much all the assault rifles and as far as settings go you know make sure you go in there and you want to have your vertical sensitivity really not that high okay we're not playing black ops 3 infinite warfare where people are flying around okay that we don't need to look up very quickly so have that lower down and that's going to keep you from flinching your controller around i tend to have that vertical just a little bit lower so you get 100 uh headshots which is really not that hard and then you unlock the technical challenges so first up is get 10 long shot medals and uh, this is you only have to get 10 of them but it it was pretty fun to get this you will get some hate messages and for the site i did go with the recon uh you can put on long barrel and then maybe grip everything else truly doesn't matter you know because we're gonna be camping in the back of the map all right, you need to find the furthest part of the map, even if it's a small map like this snow map right here, and you will need to camp for at least 10 kills. And uh, like I said, I mean, it's kind of funny. I normally don't play this way, but people will get annoyed with you and they will come for revenge kills. So when they do come for revenge kills, be ready. And who knows, you may get two or three more long range kills with that. 
And yeah, don't forget that on this uh, snow map, you can go in the water, go in the water, hide in the very back. And you know, like I said, you people aren't gonna be very happy with you, but hey, at least it's only for 10 kills per weapon. All right, so next up is the Mother of Pearl. Get 50 kills with the assault rifle without any attachments equipped. And for that, hey, play whatever mode you wanna do because essentially it's just a basic weapon. So anything will do. Don't, if you don't want to deal with hit markers, then obviously hardcore would be a nice choice. Next is Purple Hex. Get 50 kills with the assault rifle with an optic and five attachments equipped. Okay, so the attachments don't really matter. None of that stuff does, uh, but you won't have any perks. You won't have any gear at all. And I decided to go with control, this mode right here because you know where the enemy is spawning you're gonna have all these attachments and you know if you have all a lot of good stuff on your weapon you should be able to shred through people you don't have to get any kill streaks or anything just plain old kills <laughs> and controls a good way for that because you know where people will be going and you know where they will be coming from moving on we have a penthouse uh, sort of a uh, kind of looks gold but it isn't get two rapid kills five times with both kills coming from the assault rifle and you will get this organically on its own don't need to do anything special so from there we go to spectrum get five kills without dying five times with all kills coming from the assault rifle so that should be something that should happen on its own but if you're really really struggling you can play kill confirmed and use the the, the little dog tags as bait okay so you kill someone and you just leave the dog dog tag sitting there and you know an enemy will see it and they're just gonna get tunnel vision and beat make a beeline right towards it and ignore you sitting in the corner um you know again this is if you're really desperate to get a, a five kill streak i know some of us are maybe this is your first call of duty you know you don't play it all the time but you can use the dog tags for bait and just be sure to move around a little bit and you should be able to get five kills pretty easily and if that doesn't work control is also a good mode again because you know where everyone will be coming from and where they're going that's built-in intel for you all right guys so i'm still working on this you can follow me on twitch if you want to just hang out play with me um, i still need to get everything gold obviously and then from there we get diamond and move on to our next weapons so what weapons do should i work on next smgs the handguns let me know in the comments and i will get started on that don't forget to send in your epic moments your crazy feeds either on blackout or in multiplayer We've already posted our first episode of BO4 Epic Moments, but really, really good plays in there. So send those in, link down below to that. And in case you missed it, there's a playlist on the left for the Epic Moments and on the right, a brand new video.